The weather is beautiful, and I promised myself that the next time that the Round Top Antique Festival was coming around, I would look for outdoor stuff. So come with me, and let's enjoy this beautiful weather together. been to Round Top, Texas during Antique Week, you know how exciting it is. It occurs two to three times a year, depending on which shows you're going to, and I look forward to it every year. Last fall, I told myself that this time I was looking for outdoor stuff, so I focused on that, and you can get distracted at every booth, but I was so excited, and I was ready. Unfortunately, I did not take a lot of video. Um, I left my phone in my car. I had to keep going back to my vehicle for my, my cart and my phone. And so I just kind of gave up. But I'm going to show you what I brought home. So I got some awesome deals there. These red corbels I found at that that booth with all of the wooden items, they had them there for $25 a piece. And I think that I'm going to show the I'm going to show you in a second where I'm thinking about putting them, but I'm going to put them outside just on the brick column and um, going from my patio to the deck. I think it's going to look awesome. I'm looking for some smaller French cleats so that I can hang them on the brick, but I think it's going to look so cool. Okay, so see this little wire basket? I got a set of three of them for $45 and I love it. This um, little trellis in the turquoise, I'm gonna hang it right there and, and it was only $20. And the other, the wooden trellises, sorry about the picture being all wonky, but the wooden trellises, those two right there, I was going to put them in my front for a star jasmine I have climbing up the side of either side of my garage, but they're too wide. So I'm gonna put them outside of my kitchen window. I'll show you that some other time. But um, yeah, I found this stool there for $10 and I thought it would be perfect for a plant stand outside. It has that pop of color I love. You know, if you notice everything outside in my backyard is just colorful and I wouldn't have it any other way. There are the other two wire baskets that came in that set of three. I love them. Um, here is a potting bench I just made. I'm gonna show you the history of that in just a second. But I love how this deck is turning out. It's so colorful. It gives us a place to just chill. Eventually, one of my goals is across from this couch onto the fence is to make it a little outdoor theater so that we can watch movies outside on the fence. But um, I, I need to do some landscaping along the fence and it's coming along. I love it. It's not, a, it's a work in progress. So I'm not, I mean, it's not totally done yet, but you can see it's coming along. I'm going to plant some trees. I'm going to make a little patio there where that chair is outside. So it's coming along and I love it. This potting bench I have been wanting to do this for years now I've had this cast iron sink sitting in my garage coming with me from house to house and I finally finished it 
Someday we will know about so the padding bench started off as a Hemnes Ikea bookshelf. I had it for years in my home um, previously. When my daughter first had her apartment, I turned it into a kitchen island for her. I just cut it shorter and added a wood top to it. Then when I moved into my home, um, it was either get rid of it or make it into something I can use outside. So I thought I'd use it as a little shelf for, you know, appliances, outdoor things, or grilling items. It's kind of an outdoor kitchen thing, but it didn't really work for me. I added a, I cut off the wood top, but the wood top got so deteriorated outside from the weather that I decided to use pressure treated wood and on it. So I removed the top to it and when I did that, I thought, okay, this is the perfect opportunity for me to stick my um, cast iron sink that I had in my garage. So that's what I did. I used a large chisel bit and put a bunch of holes in it. Um, at first I thought I'd just use it as a pilot hole, but um, my jigsaw was not long enough. So I just drilled a bunch of holes and knocked out the center. I knew in order to have that sink sit in there, I'd have to drill through the top of the shelf. So I did that and it still wasn't deep enough. So I had to try and cut out some more around it. So that's basically what I did. I got it as close to the top of the shelf as I possibly could. As you can see, this sucker is heavy. So I, I kept chiseling away, kept cutting away to, um, to get that to sit as flush as I could. But finally I just gave up and I got it as close as I could to, to a level surface. And um, maybe later on I'll, I'll try a little bit more, but it's good enough for me. I then used um, Dixie Bell Voodoo Gel Stain in Up in Smoke and Tobacco Road. I mixed them up and just stained it and wiped it off and it makes it look weathered. And there it is. I love how it turned out. It's level enough for me right now. Maybe later on I'll play with it some more and try and get it flat, but it's great. So there's a nursery near my home where I get a lot of my inspiration from for my outdoors. I want my outdoor area to be a fun, whimsical place. And this nursery called Arborgate in Tomball has that feel. It feels like a fairy garden or just a fun, whimsical place. So that's where I get a lot of my inspiration from. And I think it's getting there. One project down, a million more to go. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit subscribe and make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'd love for you to share it with as many people as you want to. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I have so many more projects inside, but the weather's been so nice except for this day and I couldn't stay inside any longer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.